Hello, so we are back, but this time, just a short video, okay? I promise it will be short. You remember my last video? So my last video was about reviewing uh, or comparing the, the ring lights, the polarized one with, uh, with my old one. Anyway, you know, I seen a lot of comments. Like uh, I said, you know what? The issue is the camera dyna dynamic range, and uh, I see a lot of comments. The issue is not the dynamic range; is the main issue are the reflections. Okay, so let's speak about this today. I believe the people got it wrong, and I don't want. So it's my fault. You know, I I, I haven't explained it, but I didn't want to transform a, a, a simple video in something more complicated. Great. So the idea is for you to understand what do you have to buy in order to get uh, a good uh, quality picture. Anyway, it's not for you. I mean, that, that camera is uh, just for the recording. Actually, what I'm seeing here on the... This is an optical microscope, yeah? And uh, it's important what I see here, not actually what the camera is seeing, but obviously... I'm uploading video and it's important what the camera is seeing. Now let's see one more time what we seen on the last video. Okay. So what we seen on the last video was this picture, yeah, which is blow up by the light, and the people say, you know, sorry, the, the light from the capacitor is because of the reflection and uh, not because of the dynamic range of the camera, yeah, right? Let me try to adjust this just to be sure. I'm, uh, I'm not getting any filter, yeah? So now we have no filter. And as you can see on the picture, yeah? As you can see on the picture, you have three capacitors, and actually you cannot see the writing on the capacitor. You can see a little bit on this one, and nothing on this one, okay? And I said, you know what? This is because of the camera dynamic range, yeah? You know, because of the reflection. Reflections is another picture, right? Now we have this camera. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna test with a with a, with a phone. We're gonna test with a DSLR to see the difference, just to understand what uh, the camera dynamic range means. So that's we are starting from this picture, okay? I seen on the chat people say sorry and just uh, you know take out the, the light and the problem solved but actually not if you take out the light the camera it will start has auto ISO that's how it's called and the, the camera it will start amplifying the signal and you'll end up with a very rubbish uh, picture and uh, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, noise on the but anyway that's what you see on the picture what I see on the microscope is basically nothing because I have no light if I take out the light. Okay? Good. So we see in the picture from the microscope. Yeah? Now let's take out the light ring and try to check yeah, the same uh, spot here. I will take out the polarizer filter. Let's check with, uh, with my phone. Okay? Let's see. How we are seeing with the phone? Can I zoom more? So I took out the polarizer filter, so we don't have a filter there. I'm just using the light. That's all what I'm using. The phone is better, but still, the phone is better, you can see, but still, you can see on one capacitor, uh, there are still no details, but it's better compared with my camera. Okay, the 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 sensor from the phone is better, and the, the dynamic range is wider. Okay, now let's check with the DSLR. Okay, so we have here a 5D. This is just a cheap lens. Uh, it's a Tamron 90 millimeters f2.8. 
this is used for like uh, food photography or macro things yeah so let's see the picture quality from this i have to move it to zoom i think yeah this has manual zoom so i have to move it let me put the light uh, the light ring okay so that's the picture quality from this camera now i'm recording and probably i will edit the video and i will put this recording there but that's the picture quality what you will get from a camera with uh, a very high dynamic range it's like perfect picture okay okay so let's check about uh, about the dslr so canon uh, 5d mark 4 has 13.6 stops dynamic range yeah in short is the amount of contrast that uh, your camera can capture before losing details in the highlights or shadows okay so that's uh, what dynamic range it is now you know what now how can i put it uh to sounds good we are living in a world where uh, the common sense doesn't work anymore yeah no one cares like uh like uh, what the people are buying like the camera like the dynamic range and uh, on those days all what is matter when it's about camera yeah? all what the matter it's it are the megapixels that's all what is important actually you know people they don't really know what uh, dynamic range is and it's understandable i can understand that uh the people are not studying anymore they just prefer to watch some youtuber like me yeah and I always told you, you know, don't trust anyone. Just study yourself and uh, find the truth. Uh, you know what? What do we have on those days when it's about camera? We go and speak in a microscope camera. And the microscope camera is a, is a simple example of what common sense means or what common sense doesn't mean on those days. So this camera, my camera, which is a very proper rubbish camera, as like uh, I believe 18 megapixels now you have to understand in order to put more pixels on the sensor you have to make the pixel smaller <laughs> it's exactly opposite to making the pixel better yeah a better pixel where more sensitive pixel is bigger and uh, look on those days yeah you, you can believe so we have what we have we have like 100 megapixel camera on the the last samsung phone yeah and we have uh, the new iphone uh, 14 with 48 megapixel camera i mean I, I i'm not sure if someone realized actually more megapixel you will see no difference on the computer screen or on the phone screen it will be useful if you try to print big posters like to put it on a house or or i don't know a big building but that's that's the point when you actually will need more megapixels and uh, you know what is funny i can get uh, right now i can get any phone any top phone from the market and the phone cannot even be close to a four megapixel camera you can believe that so we are getting a 100 megapixel phone compared with a four megapixel camera and the 4 megapixel camera it's way better compared with it's way better compared with a phone now if you let's go let's go on wiki eh? wikipedia let's go there let's go there and check first canon professional camera first canon professional camera was uh, the canon 1d right you remember this uh, was in 2000 uh, 2001 so like how many years 11 years 11 years ago so this camera canon 1d 
This was released in 2001, if I remember. Uh, this camera. Let me see where can I find the. Uh... Yeah, here. Okay. Let's have a look on this camera review for uh, specification. So the sensor was 4.4 megapixels. Yeah, that was the, the, the sensor size, the megapixel of this sensor. So if I take this camera, you know how much costs this camera? This, this is the first professional camera from the Canon. You know how much it is? Let's go on eBay. Like 66 pounds. So actually, this is expensive. You can find it under, under 66. And this is a professional camera. Now, this 4 megapixel camera, anytime, yeah, it will like overtake like any phone camera from now on and 10 years over this point. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, this, this is insane because I know what 4 megapixel means from a professional camera, for, from a big sensor. And, uh, yeah, maybe the picture call the picture is not big enough for a 4K screen, but definitely it will give you a better picture quality compared with any phone. But on those days, no one it will ever do something like that. I mean, even uh, four megapixel. Okay, let's say okay, let's make a phone with a eight megapixel camera. Do you think that phone it will sell? No. Because whoever is buying a phone, it's okay. How many megapixels has the camera? Not, no one cares about the other specification. It's all about the megapixels. Just think, like how big improvement can be if we have like a logical, like use a manufacturer using the common sense. Yeah, common sense. Let's say what do we have? We have a hundred megapixel camera. Let's take out 10 times the pixel from there. Yeah, so we are going down to 10 megapixel and we are making the pixel 10 times bigger. That camera, it will be insane good. I mean, it will be a tremendous difference. Yeah, just ignoring the pixels because no one cares. Actually, everyone cares, but no one it will see any difference. You have 10 megapixels or 100, you will see no difference on the phone or on the computer. You'll see a difference if you print a big poster on uh, to put in on some big building. So what I'm trying to say is the common sense doesn't work on those days. And uh, for the manufacturer, in order to sell, they have to give what the people want. And what the, what the people want? The people want megapixels. Why? Because no one bothered to check actually what is important to a camera. Okay, so I'll stop now. Hopefully I make it clear what uh, dynamic range it is. I will say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, like always. And uh, see you on the next one. Bye.